Many people are having a major dilemma that could drastically affect the rest of their life and their family's lives. And that's deciding on whether to rent or sell their California property. Now in this video, we're gonna explore the pros and the cons of each option. So you have the information that you need to make the best decision for you and your family. Give me a thumbs up like if you're good with that. And tap the subscribe button so you get our latest updates. I'm Grant Lowell, realtor here in Orange County, and I'm helping you consider whether renting or selling is the best option for you. Are you looking for monthly income or would you rather get a lump sum of cash? Do you need the money for the down payment on the next home that you're buying that's bigger and even more expensive? Or maybe you're considering paying off high interest credit card debt. Understanding your personal goals can help guide your decision. Market conditions, time of year, your home's location, they're all key factors in helping you make the right decision for you. For example, if your home's in a high demand area like Los Angeles or San Francisco, also very punitive against property owners who are trying to rent, selling might be the best option if your home's in one of those areas because the values are still high. On the other hand, renting could be the best option for you if you're in a steady rental market area. All you need to do is be able to evaluate the rental values versus the sale values. If you're in Orange County, California, I can help you find both the rental and sale values for your property. So you could take these figures into account to make your decision based on facts, not hyperbole or what you think. Um, you really need to know the uh, actual market value of your property in terms of what it will bring monthly in rent and then what it will bring if you decide to sell. So you could weigh those two options in your decision. Another factor that you want to use to weigh your decision is your mortgage interest rate. Did you buy more than three years ago and you have an interest rate less than 3% or maybe 3.5%? Well, right now, you know, recent buyers, they paid 5, 6, 7, even some 8% interest rates, which is pretty high. And that would really weigh heavily on your decision to keep the house or sell the house keep it and rent it or sell it. So interest rates are gonna be dropping here in the not too distant future, probably in the next few weeks. They're probably not gonna drop that much, we're gonna drop a little bit and it's just gonna sit on the trend. It's gonna set a trend into action where we're gonna see lower and lower rates. So I think what that's gonna do is gonna, it's gonna bring buyers off the fence and it's gonna bring values up. Rentals are still gonna be in huge demand um, it's actually better right now to rent than to buy, but the long-term trend is definitely to buy because you're locking in your payment. So you're not gonna be paying a much higher amount as we go forward in time. Another thing you wanna consider is your expense to income ratio. How much money do you have coming in and how much money do you have going out? And the difference is, should be about 30% of your income goes towards your housing expenses. So that's uh, your mortgage, your insurance, your uh, HOA fees, all your housing expense should be no more than 30% of your income. Now, if that is higher than 30%, might be a good idea to consider selling to relieve yourself of that liability. Now, the higher that, that ratio, the more you want to consider selling rather than renting. Another factor that should weigh in heavily on your decision whether to rent or to sell, if you sell, you're going to have a capital gains tax. Now, there's an exemption. Primary property, if, you, if you've lived in it three of the last five years, you're exempted for the first $250,000 of gain if you're single. Now, if you're married, that's $500,000 of exemption when you sell. If you want to rent for more than three years, you're going to lose that exemption. And always consult a CPA for personalized advice to your situation. And I can recommend a, a few very good ones if you need. Just uh, reach out to me. You could call, text, or email me anytime at 949-354-4464 or grant at grantlull.com if you need a good CPA. Now, if renting seems like the best option for you, you got to take into account the effort and time of renting. 
a property. And that comes with managing that rental. Now, renting can provide steady income, but don't forget the expenses, HOA fees, taxes, insurance, maintenance costs that come along with renting property. You always need to reserve some, some cash for repairs. There's gonna be vacancies. You might even have to evict a tenant that's not paying. And if you're managing the property yourself, be prepared to put some time and effort into the management of that property. Or consider hiring a professional property management company. Now I myself do not do professional property management, but I do professional leasing of properties, which I can help you with if that's the route you wanna go. Now if you decide selling is the best option for you, we have cash buyers who can close quickly, as little as seven days. Although those cash buyers typically won't give you the highest market value for your property because they're in business too, they have to make a profit. There's no way they can give you market value for your house and then resell it for uh, a profit if they pay you market value. And it's, it's typically gonna be quite a bit lower than you could get if you put that property on the open market with a realtor such as myself. Now, if you're having financial difficulties and you're actually facing foreclosure, consider what the rental income will do for your mortgage. Could the rental income cover your mortgage payment? Uh, if it will not, selling might be wise. And especially now that property values are at their apex and not set to really go up quickly. So now is a good time to sell. A location is really important in considering whether to sell or rent. Now, if you're moving out of the area, more than 100 miles away, I'd say. Property management, taking care of your own property is gonna be really difficult for you. So you're gonna to have to add those ex extra expenses for management, um, hiring a management company, and you gotta weigh that in on whether to rent or sell the property. And don't forget, if you have a professional property management company taking care of your property, everything is gonna cost a little bit more. You can't exactly um, shop for the best deal and. So what my point here is, is everything costs more if you're trying to manage a property using a property management company rather than yourself. I would say if you're moving out of the area and you need funds, definitely the best option for you is gonna be, I think, to sell. And you know, I would do the same thing. I would definitely sell if I was moving out of the area. Because you can't take a care of a property as easily through a management company as you can yourself. Whether you choose to sell or you choose to rent, you're always going to have maintenance costs and repair costs. The only way you can avoid taking care of a lot of the repairs that you need to do before selling is by selling as is. Now, one thing you can't do is rent as is. There are certain standards that have to be met before you can rent a property. Some of those things are you can't have holes in your screens can't have a leaky roof. You have to have at least heat, air conditioning. You know, you wanna have it for your tenants. So you can command a higher rent, but it's not required, but heating is. So that needs to work. So these are all things that you wanna think about in the house before making that decision. If you don't wanna make those repairs, selling as is is a great option. But you wanna know that you're gonna get less for your property if you try to sell it as is. One of the things that I can do for you is I can look at look up all the recent as is sales in the area and let you know how much less that will be. And it really depends on the house, the market, um, what things are selling for. So you want to take all that into account. And it all starts with getting in touch with me, Grant Lowell. Now, let's say you inherited a property. Now, depending on your financial situation, renting could turn that uh, that inherited property into a great investment. Or maybe selling would be the better option for quick cash. But before you rent out your home, remember there are tax benefits for rental property owners, but also there are many costs and risks to consider. And when it comes to preparing your home for sale or for rent, be mindful. Like know that there's certain costs and certain things that you have to do to make the property ready that are truly necessary. Some of the common repairs that you'll be making are valves, sliding glass door rollers, holes in screens, new screens. You might hire a home inspector. This is a really good idea. This is a good tip. 
hire a home inspector, have the full house inspected, give you a list of everything that that inspector sees that's wrong with the house. So you know that those items require attention. That might weigh on your decision to rent or sell. A full home inspection, this, depending on the size, is about $500. But in my opinion, that's the best insurance you could ever buy. So you're not surprised with all these repairs, whether you decide to sell or rent. So when you sell, the buyer is going to do their own inspection. Uh, it's a good idea to do the inspection in advance and just hand the buyer the inspection report. They're probably still going to do their own, but a lot of times it helps in your negotiation. You hand them the report and go, here's what's wrong with the house. In case you th you're thinking about discounting it, we know what's wrong with it. Here it is. Uh, I'd recommend that if you're buying a house, you also do your own inspection because sometimes, you know, the inspectors might be a little biased depending on who's paying them. But when there's no buyer involved, you never know. You never know. You want to be safe. Now, all the items that you need to repair in a house to get it ready to rent or sell, there's just as many items that are a total waste of your hard-earned time and money to repair. That's why you want to watch this video right here on the things that are a waste of time and money in preparing your house for sale. This video, just click right here and get a lot of additional information that's gonna help you in your decision.